What's up guys and welcome back. Today I am super excited to present to you the Lotus Puzzle. This puzzle is a level 10. This puzzle was originally created in 1979 by Will Strabos and it has now been readapted and re-engineered into this beautiful metal structure. There are a lot of steps in order to open this puzzle and the secrets go deeper and deeper as you open every piece within. The box when purchasing this does forewarn you that unless you can explain why this puzzle is called the Lotus Puzzle, then you have not successfully solved it. Looking forward to it, obviously very daunting as well as with every level 10 puzzle, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it. Uh, hopefully for you guys, we'll be able to solve that today. So guys, before we get into the video, uh, please like this video, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification buttons, and we will begin solving the Lotus Puzzle. Let's go. All right, let's get the timer out. Not gonna forget today, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin, this little uh, this little box here reads, to do this, you need to remove an aluminum circular disc with a rod running through the center until you understand the reason for the name. It can be said that you have not solved the puzzle. There are many, many steps in this puzzle, many small parts, no banging, no tapping, no external tools, no force in any way. Just enjoy the puzzle and find the secrets of the lotus flower. Sounds simple enough. So before we go, before we begin here, this is this is a really well-crafted puzzle. This is like heavy, super heavy. I love these type of things. You notice here there's like a dovetail opening on either side. You also have this little pinhole with like a little thing here. Um, and then you have this nail and the cylinder holding it. Now, at first, this kind of reminds me of that old sort of impossible object with the nail in a block of wood uh, impossibly put in there. Um, first, so the first things first is to get this out, this here. You can see the pin actually through here, through that hole. Um, Trying to see if there's any like markings on the pin or anything, anything strange. Nothing that I can see, and obviously it doesn't fit through this hole here. So let's try just rotating it, turning it out slowly. Maybe if I rub the nail along this part here while I just rotate this. No. Hmm. There does seem to be some hidden features in here. And you can tell it's kind of, there's a lot of clinking sounds and clunking sounds, a lot going on in this little puzzle. You can actually, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but if I tilt it down, there's a coin. You can't see it here actually, but there's a coin in here. You can briefly see that little coin. I'm guessing that's part of what's making this sound. But there seems to be more than just that making a sound. Because if I hold these two things tight, there seems to be more than one thing jiggling around in there. So my guess is this piece unhinges, um, probably somehow held by this. I don't know what this is for yet, but this is probably holding this somehow. Well, right here, I'm feeling like a small bit of resistance. Like if I go like this, watch, look, the nail gets stuck. So there's, there's some joint, there's something here, uh, some notch or joint or something holding this. And I don't always feel, it almost feels like it's magnetic. Right there. Do you hear that? A little click, you yeah. there. What if I line up the uh, circular thing with it? Hmm. Yeah, there's like honestly, there's no way if this nail is coming out of that side. So, unless there's maybe a notch in the cylinder that I gotta put the nail through, this is turning, but it's not doing anything. If I unscrew it, see again, look. Do you hear that? There's like a clicking mechanism right here. The lotus. <laughs> the lotus. This is the furthest thing from a lotus flower, by the way. Like if you were to put two objects together that are that are like the most opposite would be a lotus flower and this puzzle. There's no seams on here. Like if this part could come off, that would be great. And I can't use any tools. Like I see this little button here, but I can't use any tools to push that down. So that's probably not. It's something here and there's this clicking. I always gotta look closer with these things. Little details matter. Maybe the top of this nail unscrews. Ooh, maybe that's it. That would be actually pretty smart if this top part unscrewed. <laughs> nope. So I hear this like clicking. You hear it? Click. And it's around, it's around this part here. 
when I push up against the ring, right here, there's a resistance. Oh, 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 hello. Hello, little screw. Oh, so there's two pieces. Uh huh, clever, clever, but I figured you out. This was that clicking noise I heard on the inside. It was this piece here magnetized. Now that we've done that, this bottom part has to come off. And the first instinct I have is something. Do you guys remember the chess piece Hanayama puzzles? Well, on the pawn, uh, this piece here would have to screw back in, and I'm thinking that fits perfectly. Why not try and screw that in here? Okay, doesn't seem to do anything. This little pin here. I, like, this is the only logical thing that I see here. Trying a gravity thing, like an orientation thing here. Oh, 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 oh! You sneaky son of a gun. You guys remember the lock puzzle? And it had this little pin that you would unscrew? Check this out. Bam, bam, we've got a little pin in here. Why is that pin there? I have no idea. Maybe this goes in here. And maybe I then, ooh, maybe I then push it down with this piece. I thought I had it for sure. <laughs> this is really interesting so far. I thought that for sure was it. I mean, I still think that's it. I still think that this has to be in there. I just don't, I'm not aware of why that would be. If I go here, it should push it down. I'm not feeling any resistance whatsoever. I'm guessing that pushes down a button which then unlocks this bottom piece, but I guess I guess wrong. What if there's not enough pushing that bottom piece? What if I need an extra piece pushing that bottom piece? What if like this goes in there first and then this? Oh, that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Why did I do that? Uh oh. Okay, phew. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, so I still firmly believe that this has to be pushed down using this or maybe using this oh there is like a button look at this check this out when i this is interesting when i push this in look at that so what if i use this and this oops so this first i'm gonna put this back and now what if i just push it through no that won't work screw this in now it gives me a little bit extra no it doesn't no it doesn't absolutely not doesn't give me anything extra. So as I said, this piece bounces. Look at this. Beep, beep. It's like a button. Let's try using this and pushing this in. Come on now. And then screwing this. There we go. Still nothing. Huh. There is a button down there though. It's got like a button thing. So. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> okay, I, I still firmly believe that this and this should happen because there is a button mechanism in there and that has to be done now how to unlock this part i thought pushing down on this or screwing that in tightly would somehow unlock this but i do do you guys hear this what does that remind you of does that remind you of anything this actually reminds me of the spin puzzles so here i'll give you an example this is a puzzle box that had these nails, and in order to open it, you had to use uh, you had to use a spin move because right now it would be locked. It would come undone because all of the nails. So this is my next guess: <laughs> is either a spin move. So I'm hoping it's not spinning like this, but more like this. Let's try it out. doesn't seem to work. It does seem like it's locked with pins like this. Because when I shake it like this, nothing happens. 
Like this would make sense because it's holding these two top portions together. <sighs> so spin move's not working. It's gotta be something else. Oh, hello. A little move I just did. It's come apart a little bit. Okay, so it's like loose on both sides. Okay. Those are, look, see? That little piece here seems to be that pin that was affected by the gravity move, the spin move. And you have one on either side. Now what? Oh no, it locked back in. No! What did I do last time? I just went like this, eh? Maybe move this. Be a lot easier to do on a flat surface. Oh, there we go. Woo, okay, got it. Get this thing back on the mat. Try not to, try not to mess it up at this point. Maybe. Oh, hello. Watch as I unscrew this, watch what happens. I'm pushing on this right now, look. No, I've locked it. I'm not sure why it worked before, and now it's like giving me a hard time, like. Ah! Oh, there we go. So now, what I've done is when I undo this and I apply pressure here, watch what happens. Oh wow, that's a lot further than last time. <gasps> Look at what I found. Ooh la 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 la. I've got the magical coin. Is that is that by any chance a lotus flower? Is that is that how you find out it's a lotus flower? I can't read Chinese. Maybe somebody can tell me that says lotus. Is that it? I guess that's it. That's the uh Woo! Okay, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that's the uh that's the lotus flower puzzle, but it says unless you figure out why it's called the lotus flower puzzle, you can't, you not truly solved it. Oh, look at this. Oh, it fits on there. Why is that? I don't know. Why is this the lotus flower puzzle? Oh, I could even put that. Oh, I could even put that there. No, oh, I could put the coin there. Stop this for a sec. I've not had this much fun solving a puzzle since uh, the lock puzzle at that with, with all the little intricate pieces that would come apart and like, I love that they incorporated a bunch of different things into one puzzle, making it super difficult, which I really, really love. Only a half an hour to solve it, which is pretty good, but it's a half an hour devoted directly to one thing, and that's a, that's a lot of time spent on a single thing when you think about it. I gotta say, I'm, a, I'm still a little bit disappointed because I don't, unless that, uh, the, to me, I'm no expert, but that does not look like a lotus flower. So I'm not, uh, I'm not entirely satisfied with this puzzle until I find this lotus. I don't know, I don't know what this has to do with anything. I just had a really crazy idea. <clears throat> okay. Probably not even that crazy. <clears throat> so, here's my theory. The, uh, this is exciting. Woo! Okay, the, the coin was here. This is obviously not a lotus coin. Well, I mean, not obviously, but to me it isn't. The coin was actually like this. It wasn't buried under here. It would actually, it would actually be like that. Do you remember in the beginning, I could shift after I did that spin move, I could shift this either side, right? But it only went to one side. And the reason I think it only went to one side is because this was stopping it. If I'm right, there may be another opening to this puzzle. This side now. No wait. This side. See? Let's 
apply a little pressure here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the lotus flower. That is amazing. Ah, oh, this is so amazing. God, I totally feel like Nick Cage in like National Treasure right now. This is unbelievable. And I love how they give you like this crappy little coin, this, this stupid little coin. And they're like, oh, here you go. You won with a little flower on it. it it's very deceiving. God, I'm so happy I didn't stop there. Cause this, look at that. That's the real treasure, not this decoy. Oh. <laughs> I can't explain to you how thrilled I am right now with myself. Super proud of you, Chris. This is, <laughs> oh God, that's cool. This is top three coolest puzzles I've ever done. Top three easily, maybe even top two. Whew. Okay, let's put it back together. Binks, that goes there, Binks. That goes back in there. This piece comes in here. The Lotus Flower Puzzle. And solved. <laughs> I'm feeling super elated right now. There's no better feeling than figuring out a puzzle like this. Now, lots of puzzles are, they definitely give you that rush of when you figure out a certain part or a piece or something. Oh, this is amazing. And it's a really, it's an actual rush. Uh, this one, however, gave me the feeling, the same feeling that the uh, lock puzzle gave me, uh, the Dan Lock B. The reason I think I love this puzzle so much is because it incorporates my love for puzzles. It has different, a bunch of different things in it. It has that unscrewed pin thing from like the Dan B. It also has the spinning centrifugal force. It also has some magnets in it. It has the dovetail. It has a hidden coin. It has a Another hidden coin like and it also has that nail puzzle which uh, which I showed you in that block of wood all incorporated into one puzzle so for me one of the best and one of the most perfect puzzles uh, I've ever I've ever laid my hands on so super stoked if you guys enjoyed this video by the way uh, hit the like button do appreciate it subscribe if you're new here I'll try to leave the link below where you can find this puzzle for yourself and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video peace